this is backstory that's not in the movie, so you're you're hearing it now. This is a little <laughs> very exclusive. Sneak, very Beloved. exclusive. <laughs> yes. Like I told you 15 years ago, the next level is coming. The characters have, have evolved a, a great deal. I mean, you know, Vince went from a guy who trying to get in movie after movie to now directing a hundred million dollar studio movie. So uh, he's come a long way. He's had his ups and downs. Uh, you know, his uh, his um, loyal friend and manager has kind of helped him navigate through through those waters. And uh, also, I'm the producer of Hype. I don't feel like I'm getting enough credit for Hype. I am the producer. Yes. So, uh, you know, we've gone through a bunch of stuff together. And uh, yeah, you know, I'm getting ready to have a baby. Vince is uh, newly getting single. Go, uh, and getting ready to be, I guess, the godfather. I mean, I mean uh, not, we don't want to mention this to, to Kevin Dillon and Jerry Farrar about Drama <laughs> Turtle, but like Vince is the godfather. Right. The baby. I'm <laughs> announcing this right now. I'm already right. saying it. Right? <laughs> this is backstory that's not in the movie, so you're, you're hearing it now. This is a little very exclusive. Sneak, very Beloved. exclusive. Yes. Vince is the, the, godfather the godfather to E's child. Yes. Right. You agreed to not go over. We told you it wasn't enough. But you agreed to not go over. Because you said I couldn't direct unless we agreed. It's like when a girl asks if you want to bang her hot sister. Of course you say no. Neither of you really believes you mean it, though. What is he doing here? What I loved is the guy friendship. They are so loyal to each other. They always have each other's back. Um, what makes a good guy friendship for you in your real life? Loyalty, I think, just like you said, you know? And yeah, I mean, just knowing that you'll always have someone to fall back on if you're in a rut or if you need support. Mm -hmm. And Vince, Vince, the character of Vince is, you know, there's all this talk about how the, you know, the, uh, these other guys are so loyal to Vince, and they are, but the ultimate most loyal of all of the characters in the show is is Vince, and he's the most selfless. And he's willing them. to risk it all, spend it all. It really doesn't matter to him. On his friends, because the money isn't important, the, the material things aren't important, the girls aren't important, what's important is loyalty and family and friendship. Vince is the one guy of the group that literally would move back to Queens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, he, he is literally, he's like, we can always move back to Queens, Queens. right? And everyone's like, no. <laughs> no, we're not going anywhere, we're staying right here. But you would, Vince actually would go back to Queens yeah. and like start some kind of business with the guys. Right. Let's say you're stuck on a, a lonely island um, with one of the entourage boys. Who would you choose? One of the entourage guys? Uh -huh. Oh, that's easy to, to for what? me. If you were said to be stuck on an island, one of the entourage oh my guys. God, oh, it's very easy imagine. for me. Billy Walsh, uh, Reese Quario, AKA Billy Walsh. Cause you imagine he's resourceful on an island, right? He'd keep you alive. I, I'd like to see E and Billy <laughs> at, on Naked and Alone. <laughs> <laughs> naked and Afraid. Naked, naked and Afraid, uh, trying By to survive. Way, it's, a, <laughs> it's a great idea. Yeah, it's a great it's idea. Spin off. Maybe so for a Billy movie, Walsh. yeah. Who would, who would I, Vince want to be on the I'd have to take my brother, Johnny Drama. Really? Yeah, well, well by he, the way, another one he with would, great survival instincts. Right, and also he, he, he can cook. <laughs> and he would fight he would a tiger. He would find the food, whatever. He, he would he, fight he, a tiger. Yeah. That's a good one. Maybe, I don't know, I would take either Drama or Billy Walsh. But Drama's a good one. Hey, everyone. Hey. Good news and bad news. The bad news is the projector broke. No, no, no. Vinny, no. The good news is... Look who just showed up. Pharrell, could we possibly convince you to come up here and perform? <laughs> I'm gonna kill Vince. Is the Hollywood life really as glamorous and crazy as it is portrayed in the movie and in the show? It can be, it yeah. certainly can be. And that's the great thing about the show is it portrays a reality. It reflects a truth about Hollywood that you know many of us don't even get to experience ourselves but are you know that live in legends you know doug t takes s real stories from real life and also from our own experiences and, and embeds them into the story mm -hmm. and what would you say are the good sides and the bad sides of a hollywood life well i i, I think the, the you know the good sides are the obvious things you know the you know success and working and, and the bad sides are that it's not always 
like that. I mean, you know, there are there are ups and downs, and when the downs are happening, it's uh, it, it can be hard. It can be hard on you emotionally and mentally, and it's, it's it could be a tough it could be a, a tough town and, and an ugly town. Yeah, I mean, sure. there there are consequences to the lifestyle as well, and and you know, I would always tell people, yeah, you, know, you know, watch the show, enjoy and indulge in the ride as a show, as entertainment, but don't try this at home. Do not try this <laughs> at home. Try. Leave it great, to the professionals, right, right. but do indulge in the theater. They should open that movie with that. Yeah, yeah. That, should, that should be over black before the right. movie starts. Do not try this at home. Thank you so much, <laughs> guys. It was okay. great to talk to you. Great to talk to you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Nice I meeting really you. Tried.